Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day. Maybe if you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a layback gamer and we are back with some more Civilization 4 Cavemen to Cosmos. And in today's episode, we're just going to continue to build. Now, I actually remembered to do it last time. I had said, yeah, I need to get to queuing up some buildings in some of my cities that are running out so we don't have to constantly do that in the middle of the episode and thus run the time a little bit. And I did remember to do it. I didn't do it for every city. I did it enough to where I could get a, an hour, maybe two hours worth out of playing. But I finally remembered to do it, which is fantastic. And I also updated, uh, as you can see there, I did update Slane's... Uh, build order. So we got the King's Council coming in, and then it's I'm probably going to follow up with a couple of the other buildings that come with the King's Council. Be fantastic. Be very good. I also got I kind of specialized some of the cities in terms of the military buildings. So for the most part, they for the most part, most of the cities that I got building right now, they're working on production. They're working on gold, or at least that's kind of what it led into. I think the first couple. Was just okay. I'm just gonna queue up everything, and then after a while, I went. This is t this is taking forever, and I don't want this. Catherine wants a free trade agreement. Sure, Catherine wants to be my vassal. Joining the war on our side is not possible for you. Well, that's unfortunate for me. Hmm. Here, have acoustics. You can have it for free. I meant. Now, when I was going through and I did uh, check some of the resources, I did notice that uh, the Celtics over here, and this was something I didn't notice, they have grapes here, which means they had... I remember... Uh, oh, I remember that. I, I remember, I think I specifically called out grapes as one of the resources that I didn't have. Well, they happen to have three here. So I went to go to the trade screen to see what exactly they would trade. They won't trade us anything because they're too far away, but they would trade us the city of uh, Singelia. I don't know how to pronounce that. So I think I will attempt to see what I can get for this. You want fire brigades? Sure thing, you could take that. Alrighty, farewell. Where does this city pop up? Oh, <laughs> we have a tiny city. In the middle of the Spanish lands. Oh god, I gotta build up more, don't I? Alright, well, I suppose to keep them busy for a while. Oh my goodness, a lot of people are celebrating the monarch. Quiet down, please! Oh, and these guys... Fine, somebody else finally built the Iroquois culture, culture. We already have that in our empire since... Well, we conquered them. <laughs> We eliminated them from the game. That's why we have it. All right, pop up here, and we're gonna get a. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna get something there. All right, so we got that there. There is a. Uh... Is there any good reason? Oh yes, we could do that on the wetlands camp. Uh, surprisingly, you're. What on earth? What is that? What on earth is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we are going to be, uh... I guess we're going to be besieging the city for a while. We'll eventually invite, uh, Phoenix up here. When he's decide when he's able to. Uh, which was this going to be? This is going to become a mine. Sure. And attack the... And then apparently there's a couple of... Oh, this is your Captain Neanderthals from... Uh, Dob Dob. Solid. Nicely done. I approve. Did we lose our single plot of territory? Yeah, we lost our single plot of territory. Oh, that's Henna. Hmm, I don't think I have Henna either. Like I said, there's a few resources on the map that I don't have. Fine Clay, I said we didn't, but we do have it on the mainland. I called Grapes out. Figuring it was going to be grapes, and we'd have to refine it into a, a, a in, refine it into wine. Uh, oh, whales is another one. That's another resource that we currently have available. That's currently known that we don't have, or at least one that spawns on the map. There, there's probably a couple of building-specific ones that I don't have, but I'm not too concerned about that because we can always eventually acquire the means in order to 
build it. It's the ones that are on the map that I really want. And that's because, well, once they're taken, they're taken. I then have to go to war. And I'm trying to avoid war because we're... Uh, we could easily win the game, no problem, through domination, if we go attack somebody else. I think we're at that breaking point. Where if, say, well, I definitely could if I went against the Celtics or the Incans, but even, like, the Mongols, the Holy Roman Empire, Brazil, any of those. Really, if I take over one of the small guys, like anybody with either one or two cities, then, uh, that really doesn't matter at that point. It doesn't matter to the grand scheme. It's just one city. I can't attack... I can't take over too many of them because... Yes, you can go ahead and have that. Uh, I can't take over too many of them as well. Uh, divine Right. No thanks. I, am the state. I guess we should have taken a look at it. So Divine Right. Plus 10% birth rate in cities with the state religion. 20% distance... Costs from, from the palace, 10% maintenance costs from number of cities, 5% cost for all cities on home continent and overseas continents. Uh, our units have a 10% chance to capture and 20% chance to avoid capture, plus one anger per religion in a city. I believe that's minus the. Uh, I believe that's excluding your state religion. So your state religion won't count towards that, but any others I think will. And cities with a state religion train units 10% faster, construct 10% faster, and I get plus one experience points, and allows the construction of LS Escoril. We also now can get access to the Versailles, which we're going to we're gonna build somewhere on the home continent here. Uh, the Temple of Heaven, if we had Taoist, Spiral Mir Miret, which is going to be very nice because it's gonna give us plus two plus two gold. I'm pretty happy of that. Uh, then we have Alhambra, uh, Capuchin, the Capuchin Crypt, which can only be, which can be built only once. Well, of course that it can. I'm not sure why. This has to be built by somebody. Uh, then we have the Great One, El, El Escorial. Which reduces maintenance in nearby cities and missionaries built 50% faster and we have to have a state religion and it must be in the city. Unfortunately it requires divine right, which we're, so we're not going to build that. We get the Lotus Temple, can't build that, but there's your... Uh... Hmm, interesting. Changes leaders with furious and annoyed attribute to cautious attribute. Interesting. Hmm. So it could it would force all these guys who are annoyed with us into just cautious with us. And then we got the Great Mosque of Desert, which again we can't we're not gonna be building. Because we don't have access to any of those buildings. Or we don't have access to the religion. And meanwhile, we're still absolutely crushing these guys. How many more people left in here? Not too much more. Then we'll start taking home uh essentially a virtual baggage the virtual baggage train of people. All right, uh, we don't need anything here. That doesn't need anything there. Um, we have a desert camp. Oh, we can't build desert camp, but we can build glyphs there. So I think I'll take that. And yeah, I will... Well, not that you're going to notice this, but I'll be right back after the turn is... Well, as the turn is passing over. Alright, let's get back into this. Uh, we're going to build some glyphs there. I'm going to take another turn to attack. And I'm going to build a road on the mountains there. I managed to acquire a... Oh, these guys are going on a bit of a campaign across here, I see. Well, we should probably get back to our main base. And I'm going to go ahead and kill one of the Neanderthals on this tile. Every Neanderthal we kill from the in this area is one less Neanderthal that Rourke has access to. And they probably don't have the best supplies, so... I'm sorry, but the best production, not supply. Meaning that, with enough time, we'll eventually kill all... We'll eventually defeat the Neanderthal city of Rourke. It's gonna take a long time, though. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a... 
a very, very long time before we finally put them to rest. But hey, on the plus side, lots of captives to be won from here. I'll be very happy if we can do that too. Ooh, this is built. Finally been finished building JS Box Cathedral. Fantastic. This would be more of a spectacle if we can actually hear the sound, the music, but unfortunately, the base game music, or at least the music in Caveman to Cosmos, is copyrighted. So therefore, I'm not allowed to play it. Dang you, copyright law. No, I suppose it's for the best. After all, you guys get to listen to some nice old PS2 music. We got plus one happiness on all cities on this continent, plus one happiness from incest. Incense? Incense? I, I, I really don't know how to pronounce that. And I know I just pronounced one of them uh, the, uh, the bad way. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. What have I done? What have I done? Anyways, uh, let's just keep attacking. Oh, look, another captive. And, again, kill another Neanderthal on this tile. Can I, uh... No, I can't give you any promotions to be able to watch on the tile. That'd be nice if I could, but... Alas, it ain't gonna happen. Alright. Pick off another Neanderthal on that tile. Uh, let's see, what would I like? A mine right there, please. Go for the attack on the city. And it looks like that's the whole turn. Honestly? Ah. Uh, not a whole lot's going on at the moment. Oh, actually, there is one thing that did happen. And I... Well, it, it happened between turns. Uh, the Israelite Empire has capitulated, either it capitulated or they voluntarily agreed to become a vassal of the Russian Empire. So I shouldn't say nothing interesting happened, because that's actually very interesting. And also, apparently, the Chinese are still struggling to hold on to cities. This is just a lawless continent. Honestly, very lawless over here. I'm even concerned with if I try to settle a city there, the, the citizens are going to go, Yeah, we, we want to rebel. We want to rebel and eventually build our own empire. Yes. Yes, I. my name is Steve of the uh, other free people. And we want to rebel against you. Yeah. That would not work out very well, Steve. You don't want to rebel against me. Trust me, the Azrian Empire tried and we put, that, put them down as fast as we could possible. Granted, I'm sure we could have tried, probably done it maybe a couple turns faster, but hey, you know, we did our best effort. And that, speaking of best effort, we're actually getting a lot of gold back, which is fantastic. You want clothing for prime timber. Can to negotiate? What would make this deal work? What are you willing to shell out? Yes, yes, shell all your things out to me. You know what? I don't need cats. There you go. That's not good enough. <laughs> what? You made this deal, okay? You were the one who made this deal. You want concrete? Yeah, you can take concrete. There you go. Set your course by the stars, not by the lights of every passing ship. Hmm. Good, good advice. Good advice. For all, I would not want to find myself. Uh, Branded, as I felt I didn't follow this uh, because I followed the uh, passing ships. Anyways, we get a uh, marina, which heals our naval units. We get one specialist per fishing boat and whaling boats. One health with ecology. One with two. One gold with tourism. Right, one commerce with tourism. Where's that gold? No, that's one gold. Sorry. Replaces the boat yard and required to build the yacht club. And we also get. Zinghi's Voyage, which gives plus 50% trade route yield, and new water units receive plus 2 experience. I know where I'm building that one. We get the Flut, which requires a shipwright, and with naval cannons we can build galleons. East Indians with the Dutch. Oh, look at that. They're going to be fielding their uh, unique boot soon. Uh, the Clipper Merchant, Barbary Corsair, Treasure Ship, but. Uh, 
Banyan, Zebek, Pan Pantamur, uh, Sam Buck, the Sugar Clipper, and the Trade Junk. And require Hong Kong. Interesting. Alrighty. Go on the attack again. And keep ridding this, this tile of Neanderthal, of uncaptured Neanderthals. And speaking uh well, not, I guess not speaking of... Can we build another? Yes, we can. All right, where is it? I don't see it in here. Yeah, oh, no, there we go. All right, this is your next building. Get this built, and then our naval city will be that much better. Oh, ow. Oh, I do really despise when the game does that. Apparently a lot of people are happy. We built a lot of things, including uh I think some one of the some of the first cannon forges, by the looks of it, over in New York, which I believe, if I remember correct, is supposed to be the siege capital, or the or where we produce our premium siege units for war. Though it's kind that's kind of a bit of a faded title since we're no longer really needing it. And Slain at the moment is gonna be taking care of our uh main island defense so it's kind of just a hollow title but they did but in fairness no new york wasn't i did think new no yeah new york was the siege capital the capital of our cap our siege building capital at the very least and slain was sort of the elite unit capital saint paul we went for an infantry i think washington dc was also meant to be an infantry if i recall uh, Seattle, that one I believe was, uh, I think they were the horsemen, or mounted units. Then Alarak, Spain was our naval city. I want to say St. Paul more specialized in ranged units. And Solomon of the Israelite Empire wants rite of passage. Well, you may have your rite of passage, my friend. Yes, yes. All right, uh, I would like to establish an embassy. And you're not, you don't want to do a free trade agreement. Uh, Chief Headhunter wishes the rite of passage. Deal. Never mind, you don't want anything else. And our flailman here may take the upgrade of... Let's start getting him some Arctic combat. Oh look, we can now start claiming territory. Very nice. Um, I'm going to wait a turn on you because that seal maker will probably be done in one turn. And looks like our city is finally starting to produce. Uh, the rat. We're finally starting to get the rapid expansion project going. Uh, let's see here. That I believe is a source of sulfur. Yes, it is. Uh, Phoenix, please liberate some of their. Uh, I guess some of their population is the best way to phrase that. Uh, we already have two farms here. Uh, you know what? Let's just build another one. And Catherine has declared war on Headhunter. Apparently Dom Pedro is also doing that too. Dom Pedro, how would you do that? Chief Headhunter is doing us a service here, you see. Although I have yet to actually see where his city is. The Javaro... Where is their city, anyways? Oh, there it is. They have a city here, and then a probably city right there. To be honest, they don't really stand much of a chance against the, uh... Against the Incans. Because the Incans did actually decide to use a brain, half their brain cells. They would, uh, Well, they are training up troops, so... It looks like they are slowly getting to that point. Uh, the Celtic Empire has gone back to 2.5 strength against us. That's okay. I'm not really, uh... I'm not really too concerned about that. Honestly, they're gonna... It, it, nobody's... It, they can't attack me because they still haven't figured out how to travel the ocean. Meanwhile, I've got... I can easily... Ama I've got cities that are gonna... That can, ama that can amass up navy... For a strong navy for us. I got a city that's slowly working on a powerhouse army, which is just going to be kept close to where the Celtic could potentially attack us from. And 
and then afterwards we're just going to spread it all across the continent here as we make more and more cities. I need to get another city to start working on city defender units. Like an actual city defense force. And Ohawk's busy with the settlement. I'm not sure who we, what, which one of our... I know, uh, I know we just finished saying that two cities were meant for units. However, they're still in deep. And I do mean deep within their uh, production. Their production line. So it's not really a possibility for me to do that with them. Uh, you want scrolls for salt? Yeah, go ahead. You can take it. Uh, I don't want to give you anything more because you're catching up in terms of tech. Wow, the uh, Neanderthals are starting to surround us. I think I'll need to take a bit. I'll take a heal. And uh, musket men. Thank you for that. And what else do I need? No, just trails on that one. Be fine. And I'll, uh, seal make apparently took two turns to finish up. All right, you just wait up for now. We got one, three, four. You wait there, build a mine, and go for the attack. I like how Phoenix just isn't taking any damage. This man is so ex so well experienced. It's not funny. But he's gonna. When we eventually take him back home, he's just going to wipe the uh, the entire northern continent out. Like, everything north of here, then pretend... Well, that yeah, looks like we got uh, one city right there we'll need to take out, too. He will wipe everything north of us in the tundra that we have control over. And it's fantastic. I love it. We're gonna do so well. We just gotta get him back home. Which might be a bit of a problem, but by the time, uh, by the time we clean up all the Neanderthals in the area, it's... We're... I joke when I say this, but we might be in the, uh... We might finally have, at, might have figured out how to fly a plane. That's how long this is going to take us. Oh boy, it's going to take us some time to chew through these Neanderthal cities. Checking out something online. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. So, uh, I'm currently... Well, I, I don't think I can talk about this at all, but I'm following something that... For a, ga for a game that I used to play a lot when I would... Well, it was one of the first tablet games I used to play. I guess a mobile game, really. I loved it because I loved the design. and It was, well... Kind of a, a little unique in a sense at the time. Nowadays, probably not, but I've, I've been following uh, a revival project. Uh, you want... Yeah, you could take it. Uh, sure, go ahead. Go ahead. No, we lost a building. A single building. Oh, yeah. For... I forgot we took this little crap city. <laughs> Good thing we haven't declared war on the Spanish just yet. I wouldn't want to have to deal with their Inquisition. Oh, that would be most tragic indeed. We had to deal with the Spanish Inquisition coming after us. Alright, continue your border patrol. You uh, help towards that courthouse, which will help us towards funding. Well, hang on a second. Why aren't you guys uh, upgraded? Rush out this, please. And then I'm going to have you wait a turn, and then we can upgrade you. Hopefully we can upgrade you into the next military unit. Or at least the next uh, secure, or the, the latest security unit that we got. That would be idea. Oh, the auger got destroyed. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Enemy Morden missed its target. Oh, probably barbarians. Honestly, I couldn't give it. I could not care about barbarians. They really don't have any threat against us. And that's a lot of. Uh, just noticing, that's a lot of birds just hanging out on the. Uh, in this little bay here. That is a lot of birds. What are they all doing down there? They're just trying to escape all the uh, the game wardens we have going around the place. 
Oh, silly little birds. You think you are safe? No, actually, you are safe. I can't touch you. Just yet. You never know. Might eventually discover a technology that'll allow us to crush them. Crush them once and for all. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that's, uh... Anything else that I would want to know about? Uh, no th oh, well, actually, yeah, go ahead. Hey, you're friendly towards us now. You've grown too powerful for us. I'm upset. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another. Oh, we lost access to the, we lost the, col the Colossus. Oh, how terrible. We also lost our astrologers' schools and stargazer huts. Well, we get the observatory. Uh, Copernicus observation. Uh, sorry, Copernicus's obs observatory, not observation. Um, ten, ten education and two tourism. It really doesn't do a whole lot. Then we also get Pirate's Cove. Apparently, we required astronomy for Pirate's Cove. I'm not building this. I'll tell you right now, I'm not building this. We have Lord Nielsen, Ying Susin, Uga Beg. I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of these. Ah, uh, let me examine the city. You want to build a brute. You want to build a brute. Now, well, to be fair, you really don't have access to any good units. Ah, uh, let me one up you. I'm going to build a game hunter in this tile apparently we are slowly shifting towards uh we're slowly shifting towards river alt generous people oh that's kind that's kind of them i shall have to remember this when i eventually take over the world well to be fair we pretty much we've already done that i Rule. I rule so much. It's not even funny how much I rule. Ah, that's what I thought. They can upgrade to marshals. Alright, and then build a road right there, please. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, heal up. And, huh, interesting. You don't have a, uh standard in this city. We don't even have governor's pets. Baltimore. Kind of a backwater city for us, aren't you? And, ah, yes, the Brigantines. I have a couple of work boats, then I queued up a bunch of buildings afterwards. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Alright. Drill, drill. Go to there. I see that free it. Hunt it down. Gun it down. Prove yourself, Brigadine. And hunt down that boat. Aww. No, I start. No, I start one of our. The final uh, Pikeman men. Something, something. Uh, anyway, yeah, you could take Fire Brigade. Want you to vassal up with me? Ooh, Denmark! I didn't even know there was a Denmark people to be played in. No, you may not. You keep asking, and I keep telling you no. How many different resources can we discover? Wow, that's a lot of different resources we can suddenly find. Yes, good, good. Good. Oh no, wait, this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one of the... This is the last unit of his kind. What does he upgrade into? I'm curious. The Mappingeri. Er, Mappingeri Pikeman. What do you upgrade into? Can you upgrade? Got this, I know about that. And uh, let's see here. I remember when five was five strength was a pain to deal with. 
Alright, then you can go wooden spearmen, stone spearmen, spearmen, obsidian spearmen. This is this upgrade? Oh, that's it! That's it! That's the it's the last of its kind, ladies and gentlemen. That's he's the last of his kind. We can't build them anymore either. Denmark have arose. We need to keep this. We need to keep this man safe forever in that sit in slain. He must be forever kept safe. Apparently, I could build a jungle camp there. I had the ability to. Alrighty, so uh, goat leading storm. You'll need some strength in order to defend. So at least we have a defense in that city. We have our very nice. And you go one, two, three, four, five, done. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. And also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton I think in cap well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little small little bit of collection of games that I've done. And if you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.